with you guys this morning. It's such an honor for the nation. We are getting ready to do the ribbon cutting for our dialysis center. We've been working on this project for a couple of years now, so it's such a joy to finally be here at this moment. What we have here is we have a three-chair dialysis center. It's state-of-the-art. Each system has its own water purification system, so it's not one system. And so we're so excited because what happens with our patients is once they're diagnosed with ESRD, they're sent to another facility, and sometimes we tend to lose them. So what this represents is we are truly a comprehensive care health system for our Native patients. And so we are so excited about this. Good morning. It's uh, good to see everyone. I want to uh, thank you for taking time uh, out of your busy schedules to uh, be with us today. Uh, like Chief indicated, this is a, a very exciting day. Uh, you know, we only have three chairs. Uh, this is this is the first dialysis center that any <coughs> tribe has that is located within their system. They may send out services uh, to dialysis center, but this is the first dialysis center in any tribe across the nation. Um, what we looked at across, you know, uh, the past couple of years, and you know, and as Chief and I talked, you know, he's always said, your health is our priority, and I really started to think about that, priority. What does priority mean? I know that we do a good job in regards to comprehensive health care, in regards to family practice, dental. We do a very good job at that. But we needed to step it up another level and go after services that we don't have and bring them in. And dialysis is a huge need across our whole system. And so as we sat down and discussed this, um, do we build a central? Or do we just build, you know, we, we were looking at our options. And as we uh, started to meet with uh, Dr. Tenenbaum, who I'll introduce in a second, is, uh, and we met with him. and in regards to telemedicine. There's a lot of opportunities out there that the Muscogee Creek Nation has not tapped into yet. And telemedicine is one of them. We already do telemedicine in regards to radiology, but we needed to step out and go a little bit further. And so, as we met with Dr. Tenemon, they talked about the options that, that we have and we can do in, in nephrology. And so, as we looked at the central aspect of things, um, the amount of money it was going to cost to build a large one in a home, and we would still have to send all our patients to that one location. Um, and that's what we're concerned with, is we don't want our patients to have to travel uh, very far to receive care. And we, where technology is at today, uh, we feel, and this de definitely with Muscogee Creek Nation, that we can keep people in their communities to receive care. Um, and these many centers uh, was an option and uh, the cost that, as we outline the cost, we would be able to put a mini center in each of our clinics cheaper than we would to build a large scale that everyone would have to drive. Morning. 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 Thank you very much for asking me to be part of uh, this momentous and certainly a uh, historic occasion. Uh, when uh, Seneca and I talked when he first came on about a comprehensive health care we knew that this was probably one of the things that we needed to do. One of the things we both believe in is turning money over within our system instead of contracting it out. And we feel like that this is one of the things that we really needed to push for. While uh, two years to some people it seems like a long time, it seems like this has happened overnight to us. And I know that it's going to be able to provide much needed care among our citizens and among other citizens of other tribes. I want to commend everyone that's in this room. You know, uh, things happen for a reason. I've always believed that when things happen, it's not because of the efforts of one or two people, but it's because of the efforts of a whole nation. And I, I feel very uh, honored to be able to work with our legislature, the National Council members that are here. And I want to recognize them if I can. First of all, ladies first, Johnny Green, she is a representative from the Wagner, Rogers, and Mays district. Her <laughs> colleague from the same district, Mark Randolph. <laughs> from the Muscogee district, uh, Pete Beaver. <laughs> and again, we work well together. Uh, our vision is, uh, is as one, 
and is to provide the best care that we can for uh, the programs that we offer. So with that, again, I'm honored and humbled to be with you today. It, it is a historic day. It's, it's a great day for the Great Muscogee Creek Mission. Thank you very much. patients that come through this door, dear Heavenly Father. Again, I just pray you just continue to bless the great Muscovy Creek Nation, Lord. We love you. All this we ask and pray in your holy and precious name.